Well, our theme this week is soaking up the last of summer. <laughs> it's making me laugh. I'm sorry. And today we're taking you on the water for a hidden gem with pure soul paddleboard yoga. Are you going to say anything? Not to be confused with paddleboard Yoda, which is what it <laughs> That's was. Why in we're the laughing. Mm, downward dog on the water, you will. <laughs> Oh take my the gosh. package, take the package. We have derailed. Hey guys, take a look. it's our theme week, soaking up the last of summer. What better way to do that than this location right here, a hidden gem really, the lakefront at Keystone. We are hanging out with Trisha Young. Ryan and I are Thank so excited you. to be Thank here. You. Trisha is the owner of Pure Soul Paddleboard Yoga. And this setting, my goodness, this is gorgeous. Right, it is. Um, this is actually lakefront at Keystone, Indies only floating harbor around and we're just outside of 465 off the of 96 in keystone and you have 37 acres of pristine beautiful clean water and this year they let me launch your soul paddleboard yoga from here so i get the privilege of being and having exclusive rights to be on the water we can't wait to try paddleboard yoga. I know Ryan has a question before we're gonna get started though, for sure. Trisha, I've done yoga a couple times. Do I have to be like an expert to do this well? The whole idea is actually that you're not. Like to think that you're an expert kind of defeats the purpose of the yoga. Okay. So the whole point of being out here is that you come to set down, disconnect, get away. And on the water, you tap into your own balance. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to paddle. You don't have to yoga. The whole idea of why I created Pure Soul is that you can come with your friends, with your family, with your coworkers to create an experience that's specifically for your balance, her balance. So the classes are almost curated to whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to swim, I can help you swim. Oh, and we might <laughs> be you want to swimming stay dry. Not by choice. <laughs> so you've got a 10 foot long board. It's over two feet wide. And what that does is this handle right here becomes a sweet spot because this is where the board is the longest and the widest. So it offers you the best sense of stability right here. Um, the whole entire thing is an anti-slip yoga deck pad. So anything that has color is gonna hold on to you really, really well. I like the sound of that. Yeah, right? That. Yeah. You need that. And you need that with the toes, you need that with the fingers, and we're gonna find that out today. So back here you have the leash. Uh, this will, as I put you guys out in the water, it's gonna keep you attached to the board. Okay and then we'll also use it to hold onto the paddle for class so the paddle's out of your way. So by the time class actually starts, you guys will be anchored in, you don't have to hold onto anything, you don't have to carry anything, it's all taken care of for you. And you actually have an incredible story of your own because you were recovering from a back injury and that really led you to yoga in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first injury with my company, I worked in logistics, was uh, back in 2018 and that got me into yoga trying to heal myself. And what I found was such a sense of awareness and mindfulness that came from practicing, coming at it from a physical side to really this beautiful person that I discovered. And then I met all these amazing people and it's kind of the soul tribe of everybody. I had already been paddling and bringing them all together in this way during my second injury was when I decided to just go all in right and offer it to people no matter what you know? stories like that of triumph are so inspiring yeah. when you go from an injury to being a yoga teacher to teaching <laughs> on the water i would say that's a pretty impressive progression thank you let's do this ah! yeah. and then here we go here we you've got this i've got you and now it's all you so from here you're gonna just <laughs> you're you're on so from here, yep, you're just gonna scoop that whole thing, picture facing forward. No. And that is all you. I have um, helped people that don't know how to swim work through their swimming anxieties, their fear of the water um, from ages six with their mom to have that paddle day of just having that mom and daughter day, right? And then I've had all the way up to a group of gals, um, sisters that were I want to say over 70 years old. That's amazing. And so we want to center ourselves over that sweet spot. Think about your stomach being over it. And then the key to your balance again is that hip bone shoulder width distance. So looking down at the knees, you want them to be right underneath your hips. You want the toes to be in line with the knees. So spine extends all the way up, tucking the chin to the chest to get that nice compression. And then we bring that left foot towards our left hand. From here, we're gonna let the chest rest on the thigh, bring the hands to the knees, really press through 
that left foot heel. So from here, we're gonna push through the heel, push through the hand palms, lift through the chest. Good, rising up and then contracting through the thighs and glutes to press that right hip forward. Really feeling that stretch in the hips. Go ahead and draw your hands down. Bring the energy up, shoot it up towards the sky. And then slowly come hands parallel, bring that left arm forward, right arm back. And really then bring, yep. And then use the obliques, draw the stomach in and use your core strength to twist that arm further, lining everything up into the cell. Looks so beautiful. Squeeze in, twist through the obliques, turn through the fingers, hands to the center of the chest. Come back to center, fold over the thigh, hands rest. Knee comes out. How's that feel? So bring, so go ahead and bring the right foot out a little bit to create that balance, and then just come up onto the toes. Keep everything locked in in your core. <laughs> Ta-da! Feels great. Doesn't it feel so amazing? Pure soul paddleboard yoga. Check it out. Woo! Oh my gosh.